The under-13s competition saw clubs head into uncharted territory with their first ever competitive matches against opposition from out with their region. It was goals galore with over 150 efforts finding the net across 32 games. Ties of the round included Glenvale's thrilling victory over Bonnie Rig, extra time wins for Milton over Dalrymple and Cunningham over Bridge End, and Peebles kept the flag flying for the Scottish Borders with a narrow win over Clermont. The draw for the next round will see Aberdeen visit the Fourth Valley in numbers, with Dice away to Milton and Banks O'Dea hosted by Stenhouse Muir. Glenifer have the longest trip away to CBC Hilton. In the under 14 results, Jefferson edged Rossville 3 2 in the tightest of matches. Giffnick Red, Fair Muir, Jimmy Johnson Academy, and KSC Barca all held their nerve from the penalty spot, seeing off Loch Gelly, Bonneton, Musselburgh Athletic, and Dice, respectively. Both of Tynecastle's teams were victorious, meaning they have two representatives in round four. On to the draw, last season's winners, Banks of E, take on Edinburgh's league champion Spartans in a mouth watering tie. Oban Saints make the longest trip, visiting the capital to take on Tynecastle.
The under 15 results saw Longridge Villa join their under 13s in the last 32 with victory over Bathgate. The last Angus side, four for boys, won a thrilling tie away to Bonnybridge. Westlake pulled off a five star display against Ferry in the Aberdeen vs Dundee showdown. On to the draw on last season's winners, BSC Glasgow host Tynecastle in an eagerly awaited West v East tie. Syngenta Juveniles vs Lewis United is another fantastic tie in the making. Glen Roth has visited the last remaining border side, Galaferidine Rovers. In the under-16s, last season's winners Crosshouse negotiated a tricky away tie at Gifnick with a 3-2 win. Wasps were 2-1 winners in a fourth Valley derby against Falkirk and Glenburn made the mammoth trip to Fraserburgh and came away with a convincing victory. On to the draw, Crosshouse face another tough tie with the visit of Leith Athletic. Glenburn have the much shorter trip to fellow Ayrshire side Dreghorn. Falthouse meet shots in a derby match which is a contender for tie of the round. In the under-17, Socky Juniors needed extra time to edge out Dundee West. Johnson Borough won a classic against Arden Capel and Hillwood won 3-2 away to local rivals Pollock to book their place in the next round. In the draw, two Lanarkshire derbies topped the bill with Mill United meeting Lark Hall and Hamilton Ackes versus East Kilbride Borough United. AM Soccer's convincing round three win sets up a trip to face Hutchison Vale. Well done, 
On to the under-19s now, Leith Athletic will have two teams in the last 32 after they saw off Oban Saints and Troon FC. Campsie FC won a 5-4 nail-biter against Linlithgow Thistle. Four for West End overcame East Kilbride Hotspur after extra time and Renfrew showed nerves of steel to win their penalty shootout against Kilwinning. On to the draw, Renfrew's reward is a trip to Inverclyde to play Ardgowan Thistle. Cambus Lang have the short trip to face Albion Rovers and Antonine meet Arthur Lee in an all Paisley Johnson and District tie. Finally, on to the under 21 results. Leith Athletic won the East Coast Derby, triumphing away to Perrycook. Last season's finalist St Peter's came through a tricky visit to Pollock. Fife's final representatives, Dundonald Bluebell, were beaten by West of Scotland heavyweights Tower Hearts.